10 Amazing Drugstore 7 Ways to Make Your Makeup Look More Natural Makeup Artist Wendy Rowe Expert Shares Her Secrets When it comes to makeup, some days I'm totally into the doing the most, and other days the most I'll do is a tinted moisturizer. But it's tricky finding a balance between full face and bare face, so I've sought out advice from makeup artist and Burberry's makeup artistic consultant Wendy Rowe. Here are her tips for achieving a simple, natural makeup look for those in between days. 1. Cleanse and Moisturize Rose says the key to nailing a natural look is to have a good base. You would never start a painting on a dirty canvas, so make sure your skin is clean and moisturized before you start your makeup. Throw also says to change your moisturizer like you change your coat. You wouldn't wear a puffer coat in the summer, so switch out your heavy creams to lighter moisturizers in the summer and vice versa. Imbrillus Concentrated La Cream $22 to apply foundation where you need it. For a natural daytime look, Ro recommends evening out a skin tone while keeping it glowy and light. A water-based product, like the Burberry Fresh Glow Gel Stick, will move with your skin for a natural, hydrated finish unlike a powder-based product, which can crease and dry out. Ro suggests applying with brush only on the areas where you want to even out your skin rather than all over for the most natural finish. Burberry Fresh Glow Gel Stick $48 3 Only apply concealer in the hollows. Rose says to keep your under eyes looking natural but also concealed, you want to maintain the shadow that your bottom lashes create to prevent the area from looking too flat, which in turn, doesn't look natural. To do so, Rose recommends using a sheer concealer only in the inner corner and in the deepest hollow of your under eyes rather than all the way up to your eyelashes and blending it in by tapping with your finger. Laura Mercier Candle Glow Concealer and Highlighter, $32 for Skip Contour and Bright Blush. Instead of heavy contour or bright blush, Ro loves to use a shade that's slightly gray, which she describes as a slight shadow with warmth to it. To apply it, she uses an angled blush brush and swirls it on the apples of the cheeks and along the cheekbones. This, she says, gives you a slightly sculpted, sophisticated look that still looks natural. Burberry Light Glow Natural Blush in Earthy Blush Number 7, $42 5 Tight Line Your Lashes and Contour to Crease Using the same taupe blush as before and a fluffy shadow brush, work the shade into the crease of your eye to give them subtle depth. Then use a black liquid liner to line the eyes, but Rose says the trick to a subtly lined eye is to lay the tip on the lashes as you draw it. This will not only keep the line steady, but it'll create just enough definition without being too much. Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner, $7 6 Fill in your brows with tiny strokes. Rose says when you filled in your brows solid, that's when they start looking a little fake. In reality, brows have really fine gaps, so to maintain that look, you want to create fine strokes in the direction that the hairs grow. Rather than a powder or pencil, Rose recommends using a pen to get the most natural effect. Style a stay all day waterproof brow color. $21 7 Use your finger to apply the lipstick. Instead of applying the lip color straight from the tube, Rose suggests rubbing the color onto your finger and blotting it onto the lips for a hint of color without looking too overdone. Maybelline Color Sensational in T Matte Nudes Lip Color, $4.8 to save this article for later. In it, 